Hey guys, I'm Hannah Cox with Base Politics, and I have got to talk to you about Jonah Hill's new documentary called Stuts. If you haven't seen it yet, it's available on Netflix. Somebody actually referred me to it, and I was so excited when I realized what it was. One, I love a documentary, but two, I'm a huge mental health care advocate. I love therapy. It is drastically impacted and changed my life. And this documentary is basically about that. You have a uniquely personal relationship, so much so that you're letting me make a film about you. <laughs> that is something I've never experienced in the therapeutic world. And ultimately, my life has gotten immeasurably better as a result of working with you. And so if it worked for me, maybe it will work for other people. Basically, Jonah Hill decided that he has an amazing therapist who has helped him overcome all sorts of substantial things in his life. And he decided to use his immense wealth and platform to bring that therapist to the masses, which is just such an incredible concept. I've never seen anybody do anything like this ever. And it's really quite a captivating watch. Uh, the therapist has a lot of personality. He's really entertaining. Their relationship is very warm, very irreverent, and there's just a bond that comes across through the screen that I think is very heartwarming and makes it feel very accessible to a lot of people. The thing that I think is really interesting about Jonah Hill's therapist is that he is not the type that just sits there and lets you tell him your problems and sort of pokes holes in things and asks questions and maybe helps you reframe things. He actually has a lot of therapeutic practices that are pretty basic therapeutic practices. A lot of people might rely on these, but he uses drawings to convey them to help people understand uh, and visualize what working through problems with these mechanisms actually look like. The first thing I want you to do is pick out something that you feel you've become too attached to. It could be a person, a job, something small. It doesn't matter, but something where you're loath to let go of it. You're afraid if you let go of it, something terrible is going to happen. You have it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now imagine you're grasping this thing, and if it's not a material thing, it doesn't matter. Just imagine you're grasping it. Like you're grasping onto a branch on a tree. It's scary. You're afraid to let go. But you let go anyway. And when you let go, you start to fall. It's not a bad sensation, though. The falling is actually kind of slow and gentle, to your surprise. But you're dropping down, and you say, I'm willing to lose everything. And you have to say it it's silently, but you want to really feel the uh, intent behind that. So you can see that it just has a little bit less of a weighty approach to therapy. And I thought this was important on so many levels because I think therapy is very intimidating for a lot of people. I remember the first time I needed to go see a therapist, I had no idea where to start. I felt super embarrassed to even ask for help. And even once I did start looking, it was really difficult to sort of tell who I would click with. You know, you want somebody who shares a similar worldview to yours. You want somebody who's the right age, the right genders that you feel comfortable. All those things are really important and it'd be kind of difficult to sort through various therapists and find the right one for you. It can also be very expensive. The reality is a lot of people can't afford therapists or they can't afford good therapists. So all that to say, therapy is something that is just simply not always accessible to people for various reasons. And I thought bringing it to people through a Netflix special was a great way of sort of putting a foot in the door, letting people peep in. I especially thought that was true for men who we know are far less likely to seek mental health care than women, and that's why they have higher rates of suicide. They often struggle with mental health alone. They don't have the same support systems or mechanisms that women are given for those kinds of things. And I think in showing Jonah Hill's relationship with his therapist, it, it came across as very masculine. You know, they were joking around, they were cussing at one another, they were telling jokes, making dirty jokes. I think that's something men need to see because often men pick therapy is like you go and lay on a couch and just cry and it's you know very feminized and emotional and weepy and it doesn't have to be that way therapy can be what you make of it and what your therapist wants to make of it and I thought this did a great job of normalizing those kinds of relationships and showing how constructive therapy can be and that it doesn't always have to be like really heavy even when you're talking about difficult subjects and for that, I think Jonah Hill deserves a ton of praise because he's super vulnerable in this documentary. He actually talks about some of his own personal struggles and then works with the therapist to illustrate how he uses his mechanisms to overcome these things. The other reason I thought this documentary was important is again, for the people who can't afford to access therapy, it actually covers a lot of ground. It gives about four to five 
solid tools that people can use in their own lives. And even if that's all the therapy somebody ever gets, I think you'll be better off from having watched this movie and knowing about these skill sets. Not all therapists are created equal. Stress is obviously in a class of its own. I thought this was just an amazing piece of art. I think it'll have major impact on society. And I hope that it encourages people to check out therapy and to look for somebody that they can click with like this and to take some of the stigma out of it because it's really important. Um, and this is how you move the needle. You don't need the government to come in and, and handle mental health issues in the culture. You need people to rise up and choose to do these kinds of projects on their own and start influencing how people think about things. So kudos to Jonah Hill, kudos to Struts. If you've seen the documentary, leave a comment, let me know what you thought. And until